Hi, this is Sanil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the namespaces in C++. So first of all, what the heck is a namespace and also why the heck we need to use the namespaces. Right. So here, you know, before explaining, you know, what is this namespace and why we need to use it, I'm gonna show you the problem that's gonna arise if we don't use this namespace. So just for the demonstration purpose, I have uh, created two files under my sources folder, you know, file1.cpp and uh, file2.cpp and this is our main.cpp. So here in this file1.cpp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called x and I'm just going to initialize it to a value of 10 and then I'm going to create a, a function called display. So it's going to be void display and you know, I'm just going to use a cout statement here and I'm just gonna say display from file one and I'm just gonna end this line and I'm just gonna copy all the statements and I'm gonna paste that in this file two dot cpp and I'm just gonna change this one to file two and you know we're just gonna change this value let's say 20 or any other value all right save these two files and then we're gonna include these two files in our main.cpp. So I'm gonna use hash include and it's gonna be file1.cpp and then it's gonna be hash include and it's gonna be file2.cpp. All right, now we have included these two files to our program and these two files are gonna define the same variable or the identifier x and uh, the function called a display. So if I call the display function from this main function right now, it's gonna produce the name conflict. And if I build and run this right now, it's gonna produce the error specifying that you are declaring this display function two times. So I'm just gonna save this and I'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see we get the error and if i and if i open up the logs it says redefinition of int x and you know redefinition of wide display that's because you know here you know we are not declaring this variable x and this function display inside any other functions or inside any declarative region such as the namespaces and that's why they are said to have the global scope so here, you know, when we run this program, the C++ will come to know that, okay, we are having two variables, you know, the X and the two function display. And that's why it thinks that you are redefining the variable X and you are redefining the function display. So here what happened is, you know, we are using this function and the identifier with the same name. So you guys may tell like, you know, you know, why the heck I'm going to use this same name for these identifiers and the functions, you know, I'm going to use different names, but you know, when you write very large programs, let's say a program of around 2000 to 3000 lines, you know, at that time, it is very difficult to, you know, remember, you know, what name you have used for a function and for a variable and for a class. And also, you know, when we talk about the large programs at that time, we need to include the files from the third parties, you know, the code developed by some other developers. And also, you know, we're going to use the functions available from the, you know, the standard library, you know, you guys may define a function, for example, let's say ABS in our standard library, we also have a function called ABS. So at that time, there is the possibility of the name conflicts. So whenever we're going to write the large programs, there is the possibility of the name conflicts. You know, we, we may use the class or function or the identifiers with the same name. So if anything like this happens, then we're going to get the error. And to solve these kind of problems, what we're going to do is we're going to use something called namespaces in C++. So these namespaces are going to allow us to define a declarative region and whatever we're going to define between that region will be available only in that region. So if you want to access that identifiers or the classes or functions defined inside a namespace, then you guys need to use a specific method. So by using these namespaces, you know, we can solve this kind of name conflicts. So the purpose of this namespace is to localize the names of identifiers to avoid name collisions. So here, you know, you guys can see we have used 
a line called using namespace std. You know, the standard C++ library is defined in this std namespace or the standard namespace. And that's why, you know, we are specifying here that we're going to be using the contents defined in this standard namespace. So to define a namespace, we're going to use the keyword namespace and then we need to give a name for our namespace. So here just for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to say one and then the curly brace and then the closing curly brace. So here, whatever we're going to write between these two curly braces, you know, between this namespace definition will be local to this namespace. If you want to access this outside the namespace, at that time, we just need to specify the namespace where it is defined and then the scope resolution operator and then the property or, you know, what you want to access. So here for this file two also, I'm going to define a namespace. So it's going to be namespace and let's give a name, let's call it as two. And uh, you know, we need to write the statements between the curly braces. So here these statements will be present inside this namespace. So now if I run this program, we're going to get the error but you know not because of this name collision so i'm just gonna build and run this and if i open up the logs it says you know display was not declared in this scope that's because you know in this file one this display function is defined inside this namespace one and this file two you know this display function is defined inside this namespace two so they are not directly available outside the namespace so now how to access the identifiers, the classes or the functions defined within a namespace. So first we need to use the namespace where it is defined. Here it's going to be either one or two. Uh, we're going to refer this display function from this namespace one. That's why I need to write the namespace, which is one and then the scope resolution operator. Then what you want to access whether this uh, identifier x or the variable x or this display function you know we just want to access display function so it's going to be display now if i build and run this you know display from file one so similarly i can access this uh, display from file two so i just need to write the namespace name which is two capital t and then scope resolution operator and then the function name which is display and if i build and run you know we're not going to get the error you know display from file one and display from file two all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know here we are using this using keyword then the namespace and the namespace name you know the standard c library functions are defined inside this std namespace and we are specifying that here so when we specify like this using this using keyword you know all the properties are defined inside that namespace are available so here you know we are using this namespace and then the scope resolution operator and accessing a particular property but here you know when we define like this we're gonna you know we're gonna access all the properties so if you want to specify that you know you are using all the properties from a particular namespace here you know you just need to use the using keyword you know using the namespace which is also a keyword and then the namespace name you know let's say one and now i'm going to call the display function and if i build and run this you know we get display from file one so here you know when you use this uh using keyword to include a namespace to your program you know make sure that you know you are specifying the namespace so that you know there is not going to be any um, name collision for example if i include the namespace 2 also here you know in this method at that time we're going to get the name conflict you know i'm just going to build and run you know you guys can see that's because you know this display function is defined in this both namespaces and you know now when we call it the c++ is gonna be you know confused to know you know which display function it has to call whether from this uh, namespace one or from this namespace two so when you use this using keyword you know make sure that uh, you know you are specifying a namespace so that you know there will not be any name conflicts all right 
so this is it guys this is about the namespaces in c++ you know what is a namespace and why the heck we need to use a namespace in our program so this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial